Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to a new edition of the Daily Debate. In tonight's show we're going to be focusing on the tourism sector which has been witnessing a lot of improvement over the past few years. That's obviously in light also uh, of last week's announcement that Britain will resume its direct flights to the Red Sea resort of Sharm el-Sheikh. Now a few countries have resumed their flights and lifted the ban they impose including Russia, Britain, Sweden and Serbia as well. And joining us here in the studio to shed more light on this integral sector is Mrs. Nara Mohammed, the Regional Director of Sales and Marketing of a group of hotels. We're also joined by Mr. Ahmed Nikola, the Travel Consultant and member of the Egyptian Association of Travel Agencies. Thank you very much for joining us here Thank in the studio. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start our discussion with uh, my distinguished guests, let's check out this report regarding uh, Britain lifting its ban on the direct flights uh, to the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh, and we'll be right back. Egypt welcomed Britain's recent decision to lift the ban on direct flights to the Red Sea Resort city of Sharm el-Sheikh, imposed since late 2015, in a step seen as a strong push to the tourism sector. Amr said the head of the Egyptian Parliament's Tourism and Aviation Committee said the British resumption of direct flights to Sharm el-Sheikh is an international testimony to the security of Egypt and its airports. He explained that the 2015 plane crash raised international demands for further security measures at Egypt's airports, and Egypt dealt with them professionally and with understanding. He said Egypt managed in the past four years to meet the required security standards, and the Egyptian diplomatic efforts greatly contributed to the gradual recovery of the tourism sector. He explained that some international media look at Sinai's arrest of Peninsula because of the presence but they disregard the fact that they hide in limited areas of northern Sinai. Britain suspended flights to Sharm el-Sheikh after a Russian plane crashed over Sinai. The official noted that tourism was evidently recovering in Egypt, particularly in the Red Sea resorts. Earlier in October, Sweden also resumed its direct flights from its capital, Stockholm, to Sharm el-Sheikh after more than eight years of suspension. As for Moscow, it resumed direct flights to Cairo in April, but flights to other Egyptian cities, including the popular resorts of Sharm el-Sheikh and Hergada, have not yet been resumed. The Chamber of Tourism establishments will participate with a high-level delegation in the World Travel and Tourism Market, scheduled to be held from the 4th to the 6th of November in the UK.